This is a unique privilege. And I, I know Corona has changed everything for all of us. And I uh, uh, got to celebrate with you guys a couple, a couple months ago. And I look forward to this. Uh, now that all our friends are together, and I get a chance just to celebrate with you guys. And uh, the love that you share with each other, and the union that God's building together. And um, I just want to share a little bit about marriage because I believe the greatness of our God has never seen any more clearly than it is in the need of men and women to establish themselves in the relationship of marriage. It was good to see the goodness of God and uh, how He looked upon this relationship and how He found joy in this as husband and wives came together to be made one. So we celebrate with you guys today. The greatness of such an event reminds us of the awesome decision that you guys have made before and are making before us again today. And if we understand the nature of marriage and why God created this marriage and this relationship in the first place, and if we understand the seriousness of its purpose, then we don't enter into this lightly. Zach, I feel like I have waited for this day for my entire life and it's finally here. You have no idea how many times I've prayed for this day or how much I've dreamed about this one day. Although things did not quite work out according to the plan, the one thing that actually matters is we are getting married. Who would have thought that that shy middle school boy that asked me to homecoming would be the man standing with me today? I truly am the luckiest girl to call you mine. You always keep me laughing. You never let things get too serious. You make me feel so beautiful. You keep my life interesting. You make me feel so loved. You put up with my stubbornness daily and you just love me for who I am. I truly couldn't ask for a better partner in life. I promise to always be there for you in good times and in bad. I promise to always push you to be your best self. I promise to let you win some of the arguments. I promise to stay true to you always. I promise to support you no matter what. I promise to love you unconditionally. I have no doubt that no matter what this world throws at us, we'll be able to handle it. I can't wait to see what this life has in store, babe. I love you more than you'll ever know. Alexis, the day has finally come to start the rest of our lives together. I promise it didn't take me eight years to realize I wanted to love you forever. It just took me eight years to become the best man I could be for you, as well as the man you deserve. I've learned so much about you. You are the most selfless, smart, and serving person. I've even become to learn about your sometimes aggravating obsession with vacuuming at 10 o'clock at night. It's all the little things you do that makes you the most beautiful soul, but it's all the unknowns about you that makes me so grateful to call you mine. I promise to provide protection, support, and love, not only for you, but for the family we will create. You will always be my pookie and forever the love of my life. So Zach, will you have this woman to be your wife, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor her, and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to her so long as you both shall live? I do. Alexis, will you have this man to be your husband, to live together in the holy covenant of marriage? Will you love him and comfort him, honor him and keep him? in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him, so long as you both shall live. I do. With that said, I'm gonna ask who gives this woman to be married to this man? Her mother and I did. Our Lord Jesus Christ taught us at the beginning of creation that God made them male and female. And the Bible says, for this reason, a man shall leave his father and his mother, shall cleave to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. Consequently, they're no longer two, but one flesh. The two of you have come today uh, 
to be made husband and wife. And as you join hands, I'm going to ask you to repeat these vows to one another after me. Zach, you'll go first. Isaac, take you, Alexis. Isaac, take you, Alexis. To be my wife. To be my wife. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poor. For richer, for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. Mm -hmm. Alexis, your turn. You need somebody to hold your hair? <laughs> it is for me. I, Alexis, take you, Zach. I, Alexis, take you, Zach. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better or for worse. For better or for worse. For richer or for poor. For richer or for poor. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Until we are parted by death. Until we are parted by death. As God is my witness. As God is my witness. I give you my promise. I give you my promise. <laughs> hey, but we celebrate with you guys. And like I told you guys a couple months ago, um, God's got a unique thing planned for you if you will seek Him together. If you'll chase after Him with all your heart, He's going to do an amazing thing through your relationship and through this marriage. So God's got a plan. So I encourage you, you hold on to each other tight. You don't let go. When times get tough, and they will, you'll have struggles. You'll have rough times when you think it's not worth it. I promise you, it's worth it. Don't let go. Trust God that He's got you and your mate. Mm -hmm. So now that Zach and Alexis have given themselves to each other by solemn vows before us and before God as witnesses, and have shown their affection and trust by the giving and the receiving of rings, I pronounce by the authority of the state of Georgia as a minister of the gospel that they are, again, husband and wife. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. And guys, what God has joined together, let no one separate. Zach, you've had a lot of practice, I know. <laughs> but you can uh, kiss your bride. <laughs> In case you didn't know, it's my pleasure to present to you Mr. and Mrs. Zachary Dutton.